Okay, uh, welcome back. <coughs> we will be starting the tutorial today. Uh, let's begin. Hopefully I moved my mic further away for this episode. Last episode, you could hear me breathing really loudly into the mic. Let's begin. You may not look it, but he is a seasoned adventurer. Even we turn to him for counsel from time to time. <laughs> no, I'm just a moogle that likes to get around. I learned all sorts of things in my travels before I knew it. I'm on my way somewhere right now, but I can teach you a thing or two if you like. Uh... Yeah. By the way, are you setting out all by yourself, Kubo? You've got a lot on your shoulders, Kubo. Let me carry the crystal chalice for you, Kubo. <coughs> yes, a capital proposal. Let Mog help you. Well, let's find a better spot. Look, if you want to ask me something, come here and press the B button. So, what do you want to know? About the world. Miasma and crystals. Our world is covered in miasma. Sustained contact with miasma gradually drains your life away. Crystals protect us from the miasma. Towns big and small each maintain a crystal to hold it at bay. You see, crystals must be purified with myrrh mirror once a year or they lose their brilliance. Crystal's caravanners, like you, journey to seek out that myrrh. Drops of myrrh are gathered in the crystal chalice. The goal of your journey is to find myrrh trees all over the world, and you guessed it, your path to the myrrh trees is blocked by hordes of monsters. You need to fill your chalice with myrrh before bringing it back to your village, but each tree yields only a tiny drop of myrrh at once. So you must find several myrrh trees in order to fill your chalice with myrrh. Once you draw myrrh from a tree, it can take as long as two years for it to replenish itself. So, keep looking for other trees. Yes. Miasma streams and hot spots. Great torrents called the streams of miasma cut through the world, dividing it into sections. Each miasma stream possesses a certain element. To cross a stream and enter the lands beyond, you must change a crystal chalice's element to match that of the stream. There are four elements, fire, earth, water, and wind. If you're trying to cross a stream of fire, your chalice had better be of fire, too. You can tell what your chalice's current element is by the color of its aura. So, how do you change the chalice's element? Well, you can place the chalice on platforms called hotspots. Doing so will change the element of your chalice to that of the hotspot. Once your chalice's element matches that of the stream you want to cross, go ahead and rush the room. Also, once you've drawn myrrh from a particular place, you can change your element by simply visiting that place again. Oh, so now it's water. How to wield a Physical attacks. Select attack from the command list and press the A button to attack with your weapon. You can unleash combo attacks if you press the A button repeatedly with the right time. Physical attacks.
Okay, that's enough. Well, that's all I have to say about using your weapon in combat. Let's talk to him again. I want to know how to cast spells. Setting commands and casting spells. Okay, in order to cast spells, you have to add them to your command list. This list determines what the A button does. You can cycle through the actions on the list with the L and R buttons. Press the Y button to open the menu. Then open the command list menu. If you're already in a different submenu, press the L and R button to cycle to the one you want. Aside from the attack and defense slots, you can customize the command list with any magicite or items you like. So, if you want to cast spells, pick Magicite. If you pick up Magicite, while well, your command list has empty slots, its spell would, will automatically appear on the command list. Once you're done, press the Y button again to close the main menu. Alright, let's give it a shot. You can cycle through different commands for the A button by pressing the L and R buttons. So press the L and R button until attack changes to fire. Casting spells is similar to unleashing focus attacks. Just hold down the A button and move the targeting ring beneath an enemy, then release the A button. So, like... Let me tell you about spell fusion. When you fuse two different spells on the command list together, they create an entirely new spell. Let's try putting fire and blizzard next to each other on the command list and selecting fuse. Once this is done, you can cast a spell called gravity. Cast a new spell like you would any other. Select gravity within the L and R buttons, then hold the A button wait for the targeting ring to appear. Finally, select your target with the and press the A button. Try using that in battle. That's all I have to say about casting magic in battle. By the way, any magicite you find will disappear once you leave its native area. Okay. Any more? Uh... About Mog's health. In single player mode, Mog will accompany you. He'll carry the crystal chalice for you while you're busy fighting monsters or carrying objects. <coughs> to ask Mog to carry the chalice, drop it, and then press the X button. When he's carrying it, press the X button to have him drop it. You can also call him close to you by holding down the X button. Mog, be sure to help Slanless Kupo. Okay, well, that should be the end of the tutorial. Uh, see you in the next episode. Bye.